Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about dating success for men. And the topic for this video is how to ask her out. We are talking about internet dating strategies. So once you started uh, sending some messages, you might have got a couple of responses, right? A couple of, a couple of replies. And the next question is, uh, what do you say next? I mean, you notice that she's, uh, she's nice, she's attractive, you have a good chemistry, you notice that through a couple of emails that you have been sending. So what do you do next? You uh, go to her and say, um, shall we go on a date together? You know, would this work? Or is there an, an approach which work, works uh, better? So the key here is to be very casual. You're not asking her for a commitment. You're not asking her even to come on a date with you. What you're saying is something like, I'll be downtown, you know, on, on Thursday, why don't we meet for a drink? You know, this is a very casual way of opening up that works really great. It works great for a few reasons. Uh, first, because if she can't, it's not a rejection. She's not saying, you know, I don't want to go out with you. She's simply saying no to a certain invitation, to a very specific um, invitation that you give her. Okay? That's one thing. Uh, another thing, it is that if you meet in a public place, it's not going to be too committing, okay? You don't want to go and, and plan a whole first date with a candle, dinner, you know, the whole thing, if you don't know how you're going to respond to each other. So the first step is really to meet for a casual drink short. You don't want to spend more than one hour together at the first encounter, the first meeting. What you want to do is simply, you know, choose a, a nice cafe somewhere, a nice location, uh, a place which might be sunny, you know, a, a place which is really nice to go to with a nice atmosphere and uh, you invite her to, to be there at a certain time. Now when you do that, you are again very specific and you are very directive. You are saying something like, meet me there at 4 o'clock, you know, we can have a drink and, and, um, and uh, that's it. <laughs> it's very simple, right? You don't have to be, uh, you know, overwhelmingly complicated or sentimental and even, uh, and especially not uh, uh, make her feel like this is a big commitment to come on a date with, uh, with you. It has to be casual and this is really what works best. So the best way to go is to send her a one line message. Hey, what about a drink on Thursday? Okay, that's specific, it's casual, it's direct and it shows that you have confidence. You can send the same kind of message on, on a text, uh, you know, to her cell phone if you have her number. That's another possibility. And uh, once you ask her out, you don't have to have too high expectations about it, okay? You can go to that very casually. It doesn't mean that you have to stop connecting with other women. The key here is that as long as you are not in a committed relationship, don't start uh, limiting your connections to just one person. You don't want to be exclusive when you are on online dating. Okay, the first, that's one of the very key mistakes that many guys make. They will see a profile, they will see a girl who they think is a potential good mate, you know, a good girl to be together on the long term for a relationship, and they start focusing on her. In fact, they start obsessing about her before, before they know anything about her. You know, she might have a boyfriend, she might not be available, she might uh, be focusing on other things or simply not be attracted to you. So if you start focusing too much on just one girl, most of the times uh, that can be tricky. You know, you can get hurt because you give too much and you don't get back enough. So when she rejects you or doesn't respond to your expectations, you might think, bummer, you know, now I have to start all over again. So don't limit your connections to just one girl. Practice network dating. It means that you want to be in touch with a dozen women. Yeah, that's right. A dozen women. You practice that for a month, okay? You stay in touch with all that, all these women for a month, and once you start, you know, uh, maybe noticing that there are two or three who are a bit more into you, and you have a better connection with those ones, then you start giving them a bit more energy without forgetting about the other ones. And then in, you go to dates, right? You can date, lie date, casual dating, two or three times those different uh, women until you get a clear picture of who they are and if they are available, and if, if they want to, to be uh, in a relationship with you eventually, it's, if that's your goal. In the beginning, don't be exclusive. That's the key. Okay? So I hope you enjoy your dates and take care for now. Bye-bye.